If you've been around the custom keyboard hobby for any significant period of time, you've no doubt seen a meme or heard a joke made at the expense of the Cherry MX Brown. It's likely the most well-known switch and mostly for bad reasons. What I like to do is examine this switch from an objective perspective. I started this with zero experience with browns and thus zero opinion on them. So hopefully I can give them a fair shake. The Cherry MX Brown is a tactile switch made by Cherry. It features an all nylon housing and a 60 gram bottom out spring. If you'd like to learn about its history, check out Theremin Goat Review linked below. It seems that the latest version of these switches features the Hyperglide technology. I couldn't find any in-depth information on this on Cherry's website, but this is what's said on Singapore-based vendor Ilum KB's Cherry Hyperglide product page. The result of this new Hyperglide tooling is increased smoothness, tighter tolerances, and increased service life of greater than 100 million actuations. The page also describes the physical difference. An increase in the gliding surface area on the front side of the stem, in conjunction with the eight guide rails on the inside of the upper part of the switch housing results in wobble-free operation and increased durability. I bought 3-pin Cherry MX Browns from KB Defense in early July. No mention of Hyperglide was made on the product page. I also have some Cherry MX Blacks that were explicitly marketed as Hyperglide. Comparing the stems and top housings of both, I can see no discernible difference aside from the stem legs, of course. Which leads me to conclude that these Browns are also Hyperglides. But please, correct me if I'm wrong. Let's talk about the enthusiast's response to these switches. The vast majority of it is negative. Many consider browns to be garbage switches. It's become such a big thing that now I can't even tell how much of it is sincere and how much of it is just memeing. You've even got a major keyboard content creator, Glarses, who's probably most well known for his let's call it dislike of Cherry MX Browns. On the other side of the spectrum are those who proclaim Browns to be the greatest switch in existence. A very extreme stance that seems to be a direct response to the hate. They're not that common, but they do have arguably the most well-known keyboard content creator, Teha Kim, among their ranks. I'm not sure how much of this is sincere either. The reason for the hate seems to be down to just one factor, tactility. Cherry MX Browns are a very light tactile switch. The bump you feel when pressing them is quite small. This is in opposition to the vast majority of enthusiast tactiles at present, which are hyper tactile. People joke about Browns being basically linear or lament that such a small bump is pointless. Scratchiness is another factor, but since this exists in every single Cherry switch, I don't think we can consider it as a reason that Browns specifically are hated. Although perhaps the combination of that scratchiness with the tiny bump creates a special cocktail cocktail that's just abhorrent to some people. I think there's another reason for the hate, but this is just a personal theory. It has to do with the divide between enthusiasts and non-enthusiasts. Many gaming keyboards feature Cherry MX switches, and most of those feature browns as a choice alongside blues and reds. So most non-enthusiasts are only familiar with browns, reds, and blues. And among those non-enthusiasts, Cherry MX browns are seemingly very highly regarded. Check out the infamous Linus Tech Tips blind switch comparison video, and that seems to engender some resentment from enthusiasts, whether deliberate or not. And I understand this to a certain extent. It does annoy me when I see people talk about browns, reds, and blues as if they're the only options out there. But of course, we can't blame beginners and non-enthusiasts because there really is just way too much to learn and this is just where everybody starts. It's time to put these browns to actual use. First, let's listen to them completely stock on an R1 KBD67 Lite. It should be noted that these do contain some light factory lubing on just the legs slash leaves. I'm not sure if that's always been the case for cherry switches. So these are terrible, but that's to be expected. They sound and feel exceedingly scratchy. So let's lube these browns with Crytox 205 Grade Zero and film them with Deskey's films. On my only other tactile switch, the Glorious Panda, I lubed the legs slash leaves, but on these browns, I will be avoiding these parts in an attempt to preserve the already small tactility.
still quite scratchy even with lube. I remember my Cherry Blacks being similarly scratchy. I'm not sure how long I've used those but I bought them in May of this year. Since then, they've been in regular use in my Switch rotation and are now quite smooth. So I used the Browns as my daily driver for about 10 days to see if they would also break in. My real life impression typing on these after the 10 day break in period is that they're much less scratchy. But listening to the recordings back to back, the difference is less clear. It's there, but it's subtle. Just a bit less scratchy and still not at the level of smoothness of the blacks. The biggest difference is in the spacebar. On the initial test, it was a loud scratch all the way down and up. With more time to break in, these should get even better. I quite like these browns after breaking in. I'm not a huge fan of hyper tactiles in the first place. I find them tiring to type on, although I've only really had experience with two hyper tactiles, the Glorious Pandas and the Rock T1s. And I think I'd probably be able to get used to them with extended use. I don't agree with the notion that the tactile bump on the browns is so small that they may as well be linear. I can definitely perceive a difference, although it does get less perceptible the faster you type. And they do still exhibit that two-stage tactile sound. So is the hate justified? It's hard to give a definitive answer to that because a lot of it seems to be all in good fun. It's just memes and there's nothing wrong with that. I definitely don't think these are the worst switches ever. In fact, I think they're quite good. Good sounding and enjoyable to use for long periods of time provided you're okay with a break in period. Mine definitely needs some more breaking in. On the flip side, I don't think the extreme reaction of browns are the greatest switch ever is justified either. These are not without faults. They do take quite a bit of time and effort to become good. So where does all of this leave us? Well, I'm going to give you the cop-out answer and say that it's all down to personal preference. If you like hyper tactiles, then there's already an abundance of options out there that don't require as much time and effort to become good. If you don't like hyper tactiles, maybe give Browns a chance. These will be going into my switch rotation for sure. Well, that's it for me and the Cherry MX Brown. But I want to know what you think. Do you hate browns? Is it just memes or is it an actual sincere disdain? Did you hear something different than I did during the sound tests? Are there any other light tactiles you think I should try? Would you be open to trying browns now that you've watched this? Let us know in the comments. I recently got accepted into the YouTube Partner Program and I'd just like to thank everyone who has ever watched any of my videos. And a special shout out to the people who have subscribed and continue to come back with each new video. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. My initial earnings returns are quite low as expected. Much too low to sustain this thing long term but I will continue. And hopefully it grows to the point that I don't have to quit this because this is still very much enjoyable to me. If you'd like to help me out, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll end with some full sound tests and it would also be a big help to me if you stayed until the end of those. Thank you so much for watching.